Hey guys, Brooke Whipple here. Welcome to my channel. I want to show you today my secret fire starter that I used on Alone Season 4 when I spent 49 days in the wilderness with my husband Dave. This is the fire starter I use to start fires in a rainforest and it was a guaranteed fire every single time with one spark. You want to know the secret? Stay tuned. Now one part of my secret ingredient has to do with this tree right here. Now this is a cedar tree and this is an important ingredient in this secret fire starting formula. So what you want to do is, you know, you, if you pull up some of this cedar, the bark on the inside is very, it's very fibrous. You can see just by even just kind of breaking this, all these really loose fibers come up. And that's kind of what I'm after. I need some of this inner bark. I'm going to shred it for part of this formula. So I need some of this. I'm going to get a bit more. Now I'm not going to take much off the tree, not enough to damage it or anything. I just need some of this really fine bark material. So I think we're good. What I've brought along today is the net bag that I made on season four. We found some netting and I ended up making like carry bags with it. That's all I've got with me today. And I'm gonna just put this in my bag. And next part of the puzzle is pitch. So let's go find some. Now the place to find pitch is in a pine forest, which all around me here is nothing but pines. Gonna be looking for damaged spots on the tree that would allow the tree to put out some some pitch to cover that wound of, in the branch or the tree. So that's what I'm looking for. I'm just gonna be looking around the forest here. Hi Daisy. It's a beautiful snowy day. It's nice to be out. Um, check this out right over here. If we look right down here, that right there looks like some pitch, possibly. Let's check it out. That's definitely pitch. It smells so good. There's some more pitch right here. And a lot of really good pitch right up here that I can't reach. But I want you to see it because it's perfect. That right there is an awesome wad of pitch that I can't reach. That would be perfect. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Now to save time today, I actually brought some pitch with me that came straight from Vancouver Island. This came from our location and it was just a stash of pitch that I, I collected while I was there. And it looks something like this. That's just a beautiful piece of pitch there. And it's just like what I was just showing you. Just pieces off a tree. And what we're gonna do, I'm gonna recreate how I made my fire starter on Vancouver Island using these materials. 
Now I'm pretty darn cold. I got to get my hands warmed up. So I'm just ready to get this going. I have I have fire starter with me. I'm going to get a fire going, then we're going to process these materials and I'm going to show you how I actually make the fire starter. I'm going to clear out a space here. I'm not going to need much of a fire, just enough to melt my pitch. Smell it? <laughs> so this is what the finished fire starter looks like. This is just inner cedar bark with melted pitch right in it. And Watch this, it lights with one spark. You get into to a pine forest and it's just like the most awesome place for starting a fire. I'm just gonna put a few things down on the ground first. Here's some good stuff to throw on top. Need a few more sticks. Oh, she hates to stop. You notice in all my videos, as soon as I stop, the dog starts whining. She just wants to explore. I get it. I, I love it too. I even see birch bark here too. But you don't need it with this method. This is straight up. You don't need it. It's nice to have some birch bark to throw on top to keep it going. And I do see some birch trees over here. So uh, let's grab some birch bark. Beauteous. More than you'd ever need. I use a piece of this for my knees. That's kind of nice. Now, I'm going to take this. I'm going to put it on a piece of birch bark like this. Grab some of my previous fire starter. Watch how fast this takes off. One, one flame. One spark gets that going. Beautiful thing. I'm gonna let that fire get going. Get out of the way. Looks like I'm right in the way of the wind. Now I'm gonna work on processing the materials I need to make our fire starter. I'll warm up my hands. I wanna process, I wanna process this cedar bark. What I wanna do is you can either shred it with your knife or you can see how the more I mess with this, cedar bark, the more kind of shredded it becomes. And that's definitely what I'm after. I just want to pull these fibers apart of the inner bark and break it up into the smallest fibers I can. So you just kind of want to break it up. Just do it with your hands. You could also use your knife and scrape it, but just doing it like this, it's enough to get what you need. It's exactly what we're after is it's really finely shredded in our bark and smells amazing. Just, just process that up until it's just fuzzy, okay? That's what we're doing. Oh, it 
fire feels so great. I should have brought out some tea or snacks or something. I always like to eat on the fire. If you watch any of my channel, any of the videos on my channel, much you know how much I love to eat on the campfire. So I'm just gonna keep pulling this apart, processing it till it's just a big, giant fuzz ball. Oh, you gotta love pine for fires. They're just amazing. Beautiful snowy day today. So, so we took this and turned it into this. Now you might be wondering, what are we gonna like mix this in? That's where this comes in. This is a shell I found on the shore of the ocean while we were on Vancouver Island. This is the type of shell I would use to make my fire starting potion, okay? We're gonna put some of our pitch pieces in here and I'm just gonna put it on the fire and start melting this in the shell. Now what if you don't have a shell? I would recommend a rock. Melt it on a rock, a rock would work, put it in the fire. It's gonna melt on top, but you can kind of use a stick and contain it. You know, be inventive, find whatever you can use out in the wilderness, but I used a shell. What are you doing? I know. We're, we're stopped right now, settle in. <laughs> so let's put this on the fire and get it melting. And what you find, she'll be real lucky if that that shell doesn't break. But you got to use what you have. See here, it's starting to melt up, get a little gooey. It's just what it's just what we're after right there. Oh, oh! See, there goes my shell. It just broke. That's what you gotta hope not to do. Darn it. So my shell just broke, and that's just part of dealing with what you, you know, using what you've got. So it was just kind of starting to melt. I do have, I do have another shell with me. I'm just going to transfer this to the other shell and start over. Now, if I was in a wilderness situation with without a shell, I'd be looking for a rock. So. I'm just gonna start heating this up again using this other shell and uh, hope for the best. Probably keeping it off the real direct flame is a help and I was just rushing it here. I just need to put it on some coals, let it go a little slower. Got a little stir stick here. Just need it to be melted enough that you can mix up the shredded inner bark with the pitch. So it doesn't have to be like super, super melty. See how that's getting nice and soft? That's what we're after right there. And you don't want to catch it on fire. Right now, now that that's nice and warm and pliable, here comes in my shredded inner bark. You gotta work kind of fast because I should have brought my leather gloves. You just kind of want to mesh it in with the shredded bark. I didn't bring my gloves. Don't catch your shredded bark on fire either. Want to work that in there, absorbing all that nice pitch, and it's going to stick to it pretty good. It's already cooling down. I'm mixing it in really good.
saturating those inner bark fibers with the pitch. Just like that. So there it is guys, that is how you make my secret one spark fire starter guaranteed every time. Inner cedar bark mixed with some melted pitch and find any way you can to do it. Um, this is how I did it on Vancouver Island for Alone Season 4. But uh, you could do this on a rock too, just heat up the rock and uh, it would melt your pitch and you could mix it in that way too. Now, will this work? You just saw me make it. Let's see if I can get a spark and start a fire using this. Okay. See if this will spark the first time. Here we go. Look at that. <laughs> yes. It's still going, but I think it could use another spark. Hit that pitch. Here we go. And granted, that was pretty green uh, cedar bark, the inner bark. I mean, it was it's not super dry. And look at that. It's burning. There's your fire starter. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'd love to hear your comments below on what your favorite fire starter is. And if maybe you'll use this one. And guys, as always, if this is your first time here, I'd love to have you subscribe. So hit that button. Well, that's going to do it for me. I'm Brooke Whipple, girl in the woods. She gone. Oh, and don't forget to get outside and get happy.